Fans of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have voiced their fury over the current dispute that is unfolding over Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's security. Prince Harry has applied for a judicial review of a Home Office decision not to allow him to pay for his own police protection while he and his family are in the UK. Harry applied for police protection in January 2020 when he visited the UK, offering to pay for it personally, but his legal representative said the offer was dismissed. The representative said the 37-year-old royal wanted to pay for his own protection so as not to impose on the British taxpayer. But author Dr. Shola Moss Shogbani moved it out at the decision, calling it mad. She wrote, You're trying to get Prince Harry, Meghan and kids killed? Royal family cut off security, Brits moan taxes can't be used for Sussexes and Home Office dismisses Sussexes paying for their security in UK. Mad. How dare you refuse their security at their own expense when they are at risk? Other fans on Twitter also questioned the decision. One user, Anna, said, Oh wow, this is crazy. Huh? So he's not allowed to pay for the necessary security whilst in the UK in order to keep him his family safe. Am I reading this wrong? Why? A second user, Carrier Tweeter, agreed, writing, This is crazy. Do they want them to be hurt? Why isn't he being given diplomatic protection anyway in the UK? Another claimed that their safety is of no consequence to the royal family. A Twitter user nicknamed The Stephanie wrote, Harry and Meghan shouldn't return for the Jubilee or anything in support of that firm. They're scapegoated and once again, their safety is of no consequence to the British royal family. While others praised the prince for offering to pay for the security himself. Nazir Afzal said, he should be commended for not relying on public money. Unlike others. Vera added, say what now? Oh Harry just when I think I could not possibly love you more. A legal representative for the Sussexes said that the lack of protection means that Harry and his family are unable to return home. In a statement, they said, Prince Harry inherited a security risk at birth, for life. He remains sixth in line to the throne, served two tours of combat duty in Afghanistan, and in recent years his family has been subjected to well-documented neo-Nazi and extremist threats. While his role within the institution has changed, his profile as a member of the royal family has not, nor has the threat to him and his family. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex personally fund a private security team for their family, yet that security cannot replicate the necessary police protection within the UK. In the absence of such protection, Prince Harry and his family are unable to return home. The Duke first offered to pay personally for UK police protection for himself and his family in January 2020 at Sandringham. That offer was dismissed. He remains willing to cover the cost of security, as not to impose on the British taxpayer. As is widely known, others who have left public office and have an inherent threat risk receive police protection at no cost to them.